Hey guys, it is the start of the Irish Foodathon. It is March 1st, um, it is Friday. I'm just getting ready to go to work, um, so I have not read anything at all yet today. Um, but I am planning at some point today or tomorrow to start Kissing the Witch by Emma Donoghue, which is a short story collection and by Emma, Emma Donoghue, who is obviously an Irish writer. I'm so excited to finally get started with my Irish Readathon TBR. There are so many books I want to read. It is Sunday afternoon um, and I am just sitting here just doing some editing um, and I'm also just catching up on some reading. So as you guys know I was out on Friday night which meant I ended up just lying in bed for most of yesterday recovering um, until I was able to get up and just eat a massive pizza because it was that type of night on Friday night where um, I needed all day to recover on Saturday so um, but it was a good time. Um, I did manage to finish Kissing the Witch by Emma Donoghue last night which I absolutely loved and I gave 5 out of 5 stars to. Um, this is one of my favourite short story collections and the Irish Readathon keeps giving me really great short story collections because last year I read Orange uh, Horses and I loved that one as well. That became one of my favourite books of the year um, and Kissing the Witch is one of the few books this year I've given 5 stars to um, so far. So yeah, I, I'm so glad that was my first pick for the Irish Readathon. Um, because it turned out really really well for me. So I just wanted to show you guys as well because it has really randomly started to snow here in in Dublin um, and literally during the week we were having like days where it was absolutely roasting and people were going around with no jackets and it was like literally like summer and today we have really big fat snowflakes um, which just goes to show global warming is a real thing and we should be very scared. So I am reading Nora Webster by Colin Tobin at the moment and I am very much enjoying it actually. Um, it's a really quiet book but it's like, but there's just some really kind of tender moments in it that I really really like um, and it's actually really nice because the only other book of Colin Tobin that I have read has been Brooklyn um, and there's actually a reference to Eileen and Tony in Brooklyn in like the third or fourth page of uh, Nora Webster which is a really really nice thing it's kind of all set around the same town uh, in Ennis Gorky so that was just a really really nice surprise I wasn't expecting that and um, yeah so that was really really nice so I don't know how much book I will get read today because um, I am going over to my boyfriend's and we are going to make some pancakes because it is Pancake Tuesday um, which is a very exciting day here in Ireland is Pancake Tuesday so we are going to go and make some pancakes and probably eat ourselves into a food coma and then we're going to watch Dairy Girls because the new season comes out tonight which I'm so excited for because I love Dairy Girls and um, so we are going to watch that so we're going to eat pancakes and watch Dairy Girls and it's going to be amazing and I'll probably get a little bit of red before we go to bed um, but I don't know how much I will get red because obviously he doesn't read as much as me so I don't like to be sitting in bed for like a couple of hours reading while he's just like waiting for me to turn off the light so um, yeah so I will catch up with you guys possibly tomorrow um, and I'll let you know how I go. Hello, it is Wednesday evening um, and I am just at home. It is like it's like almost 10 o'clock um so i 
got home at like 8 o'clock. I'm working a 10 till 7 shift all month which is a little bit annoying in terms of vlogging and stuff because I feel like I actually can't go out after work and do that much stuff. But yeah, um, I'm looking very Hermione-ish at the moment. My hair is just super fuzzy um, because I just had a shower and dried it and stuff and it badly needs to be done which will be done this weekend. Finished Nora Webster by Colin Tobin um, earlier in work. I gave that a I gave it like a 3.25 stars which I never really do um but I kind of feel like for some reason with this book that is what it was for me it was a very quiet novel not a much happened in it there were parts that were a little bit boring but there were other parts and other kind of scenes that really stood out to me and I really really enjoyed um so yeah uh, and now the next book I'm reading for the Irish Readathon is actually going to be an audiobook it is Academy Street by Mary Costello um, and this is a book I actually do have a physical copy of I realised afterwards when I was adding it on Goodreads because um, I recognised another cover of it um, but it's just one I found an audiobook um, there's, it's only about six hours long because it's more of a short story um, but I'm about an hour and a bit into that I've listened to it on the way home and it's really really nice um, so I'm really enjoying that so far so so far it has been a really good choice for me I am going to start Persepolis uh, Rising by James S.A. Corey which is book seven in the Expanse series so obviously this has nothing to do with the Irish Readathon but that is like the physical book I'm going to be reading at the moment and um, but in terms of the Irish Readathon it will be Academy Street. <laughs> and I am currently just sitting in my car um, outside the library because I need to return my books to the library but I only have like three chapters left like 50 pages literally left of this book Persephone's Rising which is book seven in the Expand series um, so I want to get it finished and then I'll drop it back into the library um, and I have about 45 minutes before it closes so I have loads of time um, so yeah so I am just waiting outside there I finished Academy Street by Mary Costello last night um, on audiobook and it was absolutely gorgeous I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars it was just a really, really nice book. Um, it was a very quiet book, just about a very ordinary woman uh, living a very ordinary life. But there was like this really beautiful but sad tinge of loneliness throughout the book and how this woman, she was kind of always waiting for something or waiting for someone to tell her what to do. And obviously that never happened because like that's not really what like what happens in life. Um, but yeah, it was just it was just this really nice book and just the writing in it was really beautiful and this like just this little look into this woman's life um and just all the sadness and joy that she experiences um was just yeah it was just really nice I really enjoyed listening to it um I will probably as I said I do have a physical book copy of that book so I think I will reread it in the future in physical form but um in terms of an audiobook it was a really really nice audiobook to listen to I really really enjoyed it so I pick up some Ronnie Doyle books um in the library if they have them I'm gonna have a look um and I'll see if there's anything interesting I did see the country girls uh, last night I shared a quick clip of just the lobby of the Abbey Theatre last night um that was absolutely excellent and I am dying to read the book now um so I'll see if the library has that as well, but I have a feeling they won't because I've searched online, they don't seem to have it in. Um, so it's a popular book at the moment, I think. So um, yeah, it's been, it's out in reserve at the moment. So yeah, so I'll check on you guys later. I'm just gonna get on with reading this and then I'll drop it back into the library.
March 12th. I'm just home from work. It is eight o'clock. Um, I am tired. Uh, I just feel like I could probably go to sleep forever right now. Um, but I have things to do. I have things to read. So I'm halfway through Mary Robinson's Everybody Matters and I am loving this book. Um, I didn't know that much about Mary Robinson before I started reading this other than the fact that she was the first president of Ireland. Um, and I know she also is a, a big advocate for climate change and uh, plastic pollution to try and stop that as well. Um, but just learning about like how she grew up and just how intelligent she is and oh god she's just she's an amazing woman like I think this she might be becoming my new hero um which I'm totally okay with um yeah she's amazing and I've also been um listening to a couple episodes of the podcast she does with another Irish woman called Maeve Higgins it's called Mothers of, of Invention and it's all about basically it's based all around kind of climate change and fighting plastic pollution and um they basically talk to different women this massive diverse group of women from all different countries around the world and um, about their different um ways of fighting climate change and they're basically kind of their message is that we can fight climate change through feminism in a way um and how women have like this massive um are like you know really important in the climate change battle and yeah it's just so good and she's just such an amazing woman so i am loving this book this is probably going to be a five star read for me because i just yeah she's just so amazing um and i'm really enjoying that so I'm going to read this for another while, try and get maybe another couple of chapters done. Um, and then Dairy Girls is on tonight, so I'm going to go and watch that. I bought some little cakes to enjoy with a cup of tea while I watch that. So um, that is what I'll be doing tonight. And that is about, that's like all my plans for tonight. So literally just going to be reading and watching TV and probably doing some YouTube or something. I don't know. The night is my oyster. We will see. It is Wednesday evening, so it is the 13th of March, um, and things have gone a little bit sideways in terms of my reading. So I have finished Mary Robinson's book, which is excellent. I've given it five stars. Amazing. She is my new hero, as I said in yesterday's clip. Um, and I've gotten 150 pages into Horace Winter Says Goodbye by Connor Bowman, which I'm really, really enjoying. Um, I'm not loving, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, it reminds me of a mix between A Man Called Uwe and Elifer Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. It's like this weird mix of the two of them. Um, but yeah, I'm really intrigued into finishing this. I'm about like almost halfway through it. But here's the thing. So I've been waiting for um, a review copy of Time at Wrath by James Scorey um, from Orbis. Because um, I was on the, I asked for it a couple of months ago and I put it on the list. And um, it is out at the end of the month um, in shops. And I've just been waiting for a review copy of it. As you guys know, I've been reading the series. Um, but my boyfriend is also a massive fan of the series. Um, he loves it. So I am currently halfway through. Um, I started reading at like nine o'clock and it is just after 12 now. I'm 250 pages in. And it's really, really good, um, but I don't know. I'm probably going to read for another hour or so. I don't know if I'll get it done or, I'll, or else I'll probably get up early in the morning and read some more. But I'm hoping I'll have it done by tomorrow so I can give it to him tomorrow and surprise him with it, but I don't know. Hopefully if I finish this by tomorrow morning, I'll be back on Horace Winter Says Goodbye. Um, but yeah, at the moment, it's like a mission of mine to use my superpower of speed reading and finish this so I can give it to himself tomorrow and give him a little bit of a surprise with it so yeah and I'm hoping to try and do a video review for this as well but um we will see how that goes I don't know Hey guys, it is Friday evening, Friday the 15th of March, um, and I am home from work, I have had a shower, I am feeling refreshed after a very long, stressful day, um, 
and yeah I am just going to sit down now in my bed and I'm going to watch some Queer Eye, some feel good self care um, and then later on I'll probably read a little bit more of Conversations with Friends which I am currently reading. I'm also budding reading this with Leanne over at Leanne Rose who's also my co-host for the Irish Readathon. Um, so so far I'm only a little bit into this but so far I'm quite enjoying it. Um, I just really like Sally Rooney's type of writing. Um, I did finish Horace Winter Says Goodbye um, yesterday and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars and I think it's really cute. I'll obviously talk about it more in my wrap up um, but I think it would be really good for fans of um, Ele Eleanor Oliphant. It's completely fine. Um, it's like a little bit similar to that where you have kind of a kooky character but yeah it was really nice. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, so I'm going to have a part 1 and a part 2 obviously so I don't have a very 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 long vlog going up to the end of the month. Um, so yeah I didn't really do anything like the last two weeks like because way I've been working as well I haven't really been going out after work or anything so I hope it hasn't been too boring for you um, and I will see you guys in the next bit